Asset securitization is a financial process in which a company transfers the right to receive payments from an income-generating asset, like accounts receivable, to a separate but related entity. That entity, in turn, borrows against those assets. A key concern in securitization is whether the lenders will be repaid if the original company files for bankruptcy. A bankruptcy court takes up this issue in the case In Re LTV Steel Company. LTV Steel Company, a steel products manufacturer, entered into an asset-backed securitization agreement with Abbey National Treasury Services, a large financial institution. To effectuate this agreement, LTV created a wholly owned subsidiary and sold all of LTV's rights and interest in its accounts receivables to the subsidiary. Abbey then agreed to loan money to the subsidiary in exchange for the subsidiary granting Abbey a security interest in the receivables. LTV later filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. LTV filed a motion seeking an interim order permitting it to use cash collateral consisting of the accounts receivables the subsidiary supposedly owned. LTV argued that it would be forced to shut down if it couldn't use the cash collateral. The bankruptcy court found that there was sufficient equity cushion to adequately protect secured lenders and granted LTV's interim cash collateral order. Abby filed an emergency motion to modify the order. Abby argued that the receivables weren't property of LTV's bankruptcy estate, and even if the receivables were property of the estate, Abby's interests weren't properly protected. The bankruptcy court considered Abby's motion.